You didn't desert us. We did it. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Why bring Julianne Cost to Australia? Well, simply because she's one of the best photo educators in the world. My name's Julianne Cost and I work for Adobe Systems. I'm the digital imaging evangelist, so I travel around the world and I talk a lot about Lightroom and Photoshop and hopefully provide inspirational and educational content. I had a chat with Julianne and she said, Darren, I really want to go to the Kimberley. So I thought, okay, we can do that. So I put a Kimberley trip together, two weeks, and I suggested, hey, there's some other things we could do. And we ended up doing a workshop at Lamington National Park, the back of the Gold Coast, spectacular rainforest area. That was quite an experience. Um, I've never photographed birds before. I've taken a few portraits now of birds. I can't say that um, I've got too many of them in flight. They're quite fast, but it was really, really fun. We had some of the best bird experiences in Lamington National Park. Uh, region bowerbirds and our iconic bird, blue crayfish as well, and the leaf-tailed gecko. Um, if you're lucky enough to see one of them, we were. <laughs> so it was pretty epic. We also got to walk down through the rainforest there. That was exceptionally rewarding for me. Um, we saw some unique plants, some unique animals, and it was just overall just a really great, great time. My name is Tom Mushino, um, from the U.S., and I followed a tall blonde. No, <laughs> no I came with my uh, girlfriend, partner, fiance, Julianne Cost. Lemington was amazing. Um, I've never seen so many different birds in my life, and I'd never photographed birds, which was interesting because I trade a studio shooter where everything's controlled. So it was, uh, it was different, and there certainly are a lot of subjects there to, to practice on. I think my favorite bird of prey was, um, was Twinkles. So Twinkles is an owl, and it was just so incredible to see these large birds up close and to, to watch the handler work with them was just fantastic. I mean, seeing them up close, you really see, you see their feathers, you see the talons, and they're just absolutely stunningly beautiful creatures. We also added in a one-day seminar in Melbourne. Which is a lovely, lovely city. I lived in New York for about a year, and it reminded me of New York, only the people were friendlier, and the streets were clean. <laughs> Sorry, New York. Lots of street art. I was very impressed. We took a walk around. There were a couple of small alleyways we went into that were highly decorated and they were really, really well done. Lots of good food and of course we had our seminar. So a key facet of course to Julianne joining our events was that she was going to do some workshops. So she did specific workshops targeting the best current information in regards to Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. The seminar was in a beautiful location. Lots of really great, really friendly people joined us. Um, it was really an afternoon of education, lots of fantastic questions. I'm listening in, I picked up a few cool tips myself. That's what learning and photography is all about. I already learned one or two things and, and incorporated that into my own workflow. She's pretty amazing. <laughs> she, she knows a lot. She doesn't do it deliberately, but it reminds me on a daily basis how much I don't know. And I think we really helped solve some of the mysteries of, of post-processing in Lightroom. It was really fun. So the, the next stop um, from Melbourne was just a short flight all the way across the country. Australia is very, very big. We went to the Northern Territory where we started uh, our trip to the Kimberley. I've been fortunate to travel through the Kimberley since 1984 and I've done multiple trips. So for me, taking a group through the Kimberley is just really special. I love doing it. I mean, the domes here are, it's something I've, I've never seen anywhere else in the world. It's, it's otherworldly. Yeah, the, the geography is incredible. Colors are amazing and vast too. They're just so massive, these structures, and they've been there for so long and they've taken so long to form. You just, you just really feel time, like eternal time. As you walk up the creek, there's all these rocks and you can just imagine what this must be like in the wet season when all of the rain is just coming down and flooding that area. We had a bit more water this time, so that made reflections really stand out and uh, doing a few panoramas and other creative photography. We've seen a number of birds. We've got to drive across some rivers. Um, we've done some fantastic hikes here, and we even took a helicopter ride so that we could see it from above. It's all been really fantastic. The aerials, uh, you know, the extra shapes and patterns 
was incredible. But it's one of those things where you've got to see it to really appreciate it, yeah. And finally, we decided on a location that I had been to before, but not done properly, as in flying over, and that is Lake Air. We've driven through it a couple of years before that, and to be up in the plane and do multiple flights, every day was different. The vastness is incredible. We've been to deserts in the US, and it, they just don't have the same feel. And the colors are different. And unless you see it from the air, you just it's hard to, to, hard to fathom. So Julianne, what a fantastic place to do aerial photography. Absolutely, I cannot agree more. We've seen some fantastic locations. What was one or two of your favorite spots? It's really hard to choose because there were so many good ones, but I think probably when we were flying over the lake and there were those incredible round areas. The that pancakes. Were, yeah, the that pancakes. were really colorful. Yeah, those, were, cool, right? those were really fantastic. But also, you know, just the subtlety that is all across the lake, you know, just because of the way that the wind blew the last time that there was water there. It was almost hard to see in camera, but once you get back and I processed them, there was really a lot of subtle pinks in there yes. and blues and yellows. Yeah, that I found that fascinating too, was the fact that uh, it looked white, but as soon as you did a little processing, there was a lot of other colors and tones there. It was really amazing. If you like that type of, of imagery, you could shoot every day for hours and just come up with different, beautiful different stuff. Just gorgeous natural designs. As a company, World Photo Adventures, what we're all about is helping photographers progress with their interest in photography and try and be as creative as possible. We did four events. Uh, I've got to say, all of them went so well and the groups we had of photographers were fantastic. The experiences were amazing. I've had just a fantastic time. The country's beautiful, one of my favorite places in the world, so I would love to come back. It's such a diverse place, Australia, with so many photographic opportunities open to everyone.